Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Heather and you are here for your second installment of our 10 minute yoga burn. The first one was so much fun. It went by so fast. I just wanted to bring you guys another variation of our yoga burn workout series to enjoy in your home. And this one is going to have more of an upper body and core focus. So all you need is your mat. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, welcome back. It is time for our 10 minute volume two yoga burn workout. So we're gonna warm up our core just like we did in our first one. I want you to come seated on your mat and just lift through the chest, roll the shoulders down and back and start to pull the belly button in towards the spine. We've got our feet on the mat and we're just gently holding on to under the legs just to give ourselves a little bit of support. Now I want you to gently lean back a little more and then begin to feel the core engage a touch. Can we lift up the front leg and then lower that down? Lift that up and then lower that down. Keep that going. One goes up and then relax that down and the other one goes up. And relax, move your hands release as we find that lift and lower and lift and lower. Keep going up, down, up and down. One more on each side. Good, all right, from there, I want you to roll back all the way onto your back. Let your legs come up into the air, flex your feet, and we're lifting our hands up towards the ceiling. Now, can we lift the hands a little higher so your upper back is coming up off of the mat? Hold that there, and now can we start to angle our legs just a little bit? Holding that, breathing in and out. Yes, right there. Feel that core. Make sure your lower back stays making contact. Keep breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in and then rock yourself back on up. One more little movement to warm up that core. So lift here, leaning back, engaging through the core. You can have the hands on the legs with your knees bent. You can always keep your toes and feet down on the ground. You can straighten up those legs and you can let go here. So whichever variation you would like, hold that as we lift the arms and lower them back. Lift your arms and lower those back. Three more up and in. Keep going up and in. One more time, lift that up and hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Release that. Good, lean that forward for just a moment. Your feet are together, hold that. And then from here, let's come onto our hands and either on your knees or on your toes. So we've got our hands right under those shoulders. And if we're on our knees, just let your hips lower. So we're finding that straight line, rolling your shoulders down and back. If you're on your toes, you're finding that plank position here, pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Hold that. So we're building strength in those arms and also really working through the core. All right, we're gonna build even more strength in our legs. Let's lower down and press it up. Do it again, down and press. Keep going lower and rise. Again, lower and rise. Can we do four more? Press it up and three. Lift, give me two and one more. Good work. Come to down dog, stretch that back for a moment and then let your knees come down and go into child's pose. We're gonna go through our next move, coming back to child's pose each and every time. We're gonna come forward and lower onto the belly. Curl the toes under or keep your knees down. I'll show knees down first. Knees down as we press up and then back to child's pose. Do that again. Come forward, arms by sides. Curl the toes under, maybe press it up and let your knees come down, child's pose. Keep going forward. Press and relax that back. Up forward, lift up and relax that back. Keep this going. 
just find the tempo that feels good for you. Stay with that. Low down, press yourself up, and child's pose. Again, lower, and press, and back. Let's do it two more times. Lower down, curl those toes, and back. Last one, let's lower down, curl those toes, press it up, and child's pose from there. Come back onto your stomach, onto your elbows this time. So on your elbows here, bring your hands together and just gently let them rest, but opening up through your chest and then curl the toes under and let's come onto that low plank. So always knowing that we've got this beautiful option here. If you wanna just honor where you're at today, hold that. Good, waking up that core. Now we're gonna go from our elbows onto our hands. So we go hand, hand, hold, elbow, elbow, hold. Hand, hand, hold that. Elbow, elbow, hold. Keep going up, up, hold. Down, down, and hold. Stay with that. Hold, down, down, hold. Bring it up and hold. Down and hold. You're almost there. Up and hold. Down and hold. Last one, up, up, hold. Down, down, hold this here and stay in this position. Keep breathing in and out. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, knees are down. Child's pose for that quick moment. And then come and take a seat. Bring those legs forward. All right. From here, let's bring our hands under those shoulders. Give myself a little more space. Hands under the shoulders. We're gonna straighten our legs and we're gonna be taking it into a reverse plank. Open up your chest, roll them back, point your toes, and begin to let your hips lift up here. Now, if a reverse plank isn't feeling great today, I want you to bend your knees and come into a reverse tabletop. So you still have that beautiful chest opening. We just get some support with that bend. But if you like that reverse plank, hold that, eyes looking up. And can you open up your chest a little more? Can you push through your heels and let your hips rise up to the ceiling? Stay strong and lifted here. Good, keep that breath in and out. You're almost there. Stay with that. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Let your hips come down. Fold that forward for a quick moment. And then bend your knees. Bring your hands behind your shoulders. And let's lower back and up. Back and up. Keep going back and up. So we're working through those triceps here. Now, let's add a leg in there. So that back leg extends and then it lifts up. As we go back, that leg goes out. Keep going. Out and in. Out and in. Nice. Let's do two more like that. And switch your legs. Out and in. Out in, stay with that, back in, nice, elbows point to the back of the room, we stay lifted through our chest, and every time that knee lifts, really lift using your core muscles, out and in, five more times, four, three, you got it, two, and one, good job. From here, we're gonna come into one more reverse plank or reverse tabletop. So, hands under the shoulders, point your toes, press through your heels and let your hips rise here. Opening up, breathing in and out. I want you to feel so strong and so capable in your body. Know that you can do this whichever space you're at. Lift. Every second you're here makes you stronger 
for the next time that you come here too. Keep this going. Opening for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Release that down. And then reach it up and fold that forward. Let your head just hang heavy. Ending just wherever you end with your hands on your feet, on your ankles, on your knees. Taking a couple deep breaths in and out here. And just taking in that quick work that you just put in. Good work. All right. Come and take a comfortable seat. And let's give our triceps a super quick stretch. Bring one arm up, bend that elbow, and maybe take a gentle lean over to the side. They got some amazing yoga burn in today. And other arm. Good work, holding that there. And release that. Can we just roll the shoulders? Oh, that was so good. I hope you feel amazing right now. 10 minutes went so fast. For me it did, I hope it did for you too. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure you leave a thumbs up down below. Share what your favorite move was in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And make sure that you're subscribed to Fit Mama Real Foods Yoga and Strength so you're not missing any of these amazing workouts. I'll see you guys next week.